Ben Ferguson with you today. It's good to be with you, filling in for Mark Davis. And if you just joined us, we are chatting about these billboards that are up around town that say, Our families are great without religion. Uh, this is the Dallas-Fort Worth Coalition of Reason campaign, and I want to get your thoughts on this. Do you find these offensive? I do. Joining me now to, to chat about this is one of the men that is putting these billboards up, Zach Moore. He's the area coordinator uh, for the Coalition of Reason in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Zach, uh, good to chat with you this morning. All right, you, you got to tell me how I'm not supposed to take this offensive that you these go up during Easter, and you're basically saying that your family's fine without religion, implying that my family screwed up with religion. No, 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 not at all. In fact, um, you know, one of the things that we want to highlight um, is uh, the fact that you don't have to be religious uh, to be a great family, and that's a it's a common misconception that a lot of people have. Um, you know, that they have to take their kids to church, they have to take them to Sunday school, and they have to, um, you know, get them indoctrinated with, um, you know, all these religious stories and religious values. Yeah, but you're mocking, and, but hold on a second, you're mocking my faith and religion by doing that. I don't have a problem with someone that doesn't believe in God. I have a problem with someone that mocks me for believing in a God and using the week of Easter to basically mock the practice that my kid is going to go learn a story, that my family is going to go, that my family is going to, to celebrate uh, the, the life and death of Jesus Christ. And you throw a billboard up basically saying that what I'm doing is a childlike game. Well, well, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that Christians own this week and nobody else is allowed to advertise. But that's my point is, you, you, you pick this week on purpose to pick a fight with those that believe in God during Easter. I'm not saying we own the week, but you pick this week on purpose to say you don't own the week. That's picking a fight and mocking my religion. Well, no, no, no. Um, one of the things that's very common uh, at this time is that you know families around the area start getting these uh, massive circulars from all the different churches and mega churches in the area, and one of the things that these these circulars start telling them is that you've got to bring your family to our Easter service um, because we have you know the right answers. And if you can imagine being a non-religious family in this area at this time of the year when you're being inundated with religious messages that are telling you if you don't bring your kids, if you don't bring your family to our church, then you're doing something wrong then I'm sure you can understand why we'd want to sort of counteract okay, that message. Get, read, say, me, read me and give me one example of a flyer that has come to your house that said that you're doing something wrong if you don't come to church. Because I don't think the flyers say that. I think you're just irritated and ticked off that people are sending you a flyer that believes in a God, and you're saying we're going to fight back. When I, I, I mean, I, look, I, I'm not a Bible beater by any means, okay? I'm a realist. Yeah. But I've never seen a flyer go out from a church that says, you're going to hell if you don't come to church Sunday morning, and if you don't believe in our God, we're casting spells on you. I mean, that's, that's, that's a beyond a stretch to assume that people are doing that. Well, no, I, I'm not saying that you, you're putting words in my mouth. I'm not suggesting that people are saying that, but they, they are. In fact, I'm looking at a flyer right now from Milestone Church here in Keller, near where I live, that says, there is something about Easter that makes people want to be at church. Now, there is, not, and that's a fact, though. I mean, that that is. There, there's, how is that mean spirit? Non religious. Not okay, if you're okay. Non -religious. Non, the number one day that people go to church in the entire year is Easter. The statement that they just made is factually correct, and it's not saying that you're a bad person if you don't go. They're saying what the attendance show that there are people that, that it, during Easter, there's something about the Easter holiday that makes people want to go to church. People use the implication to church. is there that if you don't want to go to church, then there's something wrong with you. Where does it and say? That. Where does it they say that? It doesn't say that, but it implies it that. It says people want to be at church. And if you're not a person who wants to be at church at Easter, what in the world is wrong with you? No, we're no, say, no, 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 no. Reading from the flyer, as you quoted it, you said there's something about Easter that makes people want to go to church. That is a factual statement based that on That is not a factual statement if you're talking about all people. You they didn't say some people. So you want a disclaimer? You want a disclaimer on that flyer next year that says atheists need not show up? Well, that would certainly be nice. So, so, so in other words, you need someone to tell you as an atheist that you're not invited or you don't need to come, otherwise you're going to feel like you must show up and you're a weak person? I mean, that's ridiculous. No, I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is that this flyer is saying something that is not factually accurate. This flyer is, saying, is making a lot of assumptions about uh, what people want. 
Okay, prime example. The church that I go to asked the members last week to please come to the early service or the late, late service because they expect an overflow crowd on Easter and they want to be welcoming because it's the number one day that people come to church. That's the reason why they asked the members to come so there would be room for average people that are coming to church for some reason during Easter, and it's important to them to show up at least at that time, the numbers prove it. And so, therefore, you put a billboard up that says, we're fine without it, and you're weak? Well, it's not surprising at all why they come to Easter if they're getting inundated with so many advertising messages. I mean, come on. I mean, these churches have a vested interest. But how much money do they take in on Easter weekend? So now we're getting to the real problem. You don't like church, and you don't like religion because people tithe. No, no, no. I love church and I love religion. I'm just Obviously saying. Obviously, you don't. Let's be, no, let's be real. No, I do. You don't know anything about me. Uh, when you put a billboard up that, that mocks my faith and mocks the week of Easter and says my family's great without religion, you're implying that my family is screwed up and messed up with religion. Oh, no, wait a minute. So now it's okay to imply to take an implied message from something. I can't. I can't take the implied message from... A flyer, but you can take an implied message from my billboard. Is okay, that the case? obviously, if you're if you're if you're an intelligent guy, which you seem to be, I think you know what the difference is in an ad campaign that genuinely shows love and respect for someone else, and a, and a billboard that is condescending towards someone's faith and religion. If you really wanted to love people, your billboard would have said, "Dallas Fort Worth atheists want to wish you and your family a happy." whatever you want to call it week, spiritual week, Easter week, and, you know, love and respect, and we respect what you believe in. Dallas Fourth Worth, you know, coalition for we don't like God wants to wish you a great week with your God. That would be a well, loving first of message. All, our, our name is not coalition of we don't like God. I, I, I know that's, it's that's not. That's incorrect. I, 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 I know it's not. I'm saying it because well, are you, are I think... Are you suggesting that if we ran that campaign next year that you'd get behind it? If, if we said yeah, that if it was if you coalition wishes you a happy Easter, would you get behind that? I would have no problem with that because that is actually respecting and loving a community. And you're saying that you want to describe yourself as being good neighbors in the community, right? We absolutely are good neighbors. We okay, are your neighbors. Well, then you're, then you're we're policemen, we're teachers, we're firemen. Well, we're then, you're, then, then you need to fire whoever's in charge of your PR campaign and stop picking <laughs> a battle with Easter week and actually love the community that you're claiming that you love. We absolutely love it. We clean up roads. Uh, we serve uh, poor people. We collect canned foods. Uh, we do all sorts of things in the community. We volunteered at the North Texas Food Bank. And we also... Anything we also, churches do, we do it too. Uh, I, I have no problem with that. I have a problem with the fact that you come after and you say that you want to love the community, but you, you put a billboard up that says our families are great without religion during the Holy Week. That is not a message of love. That is not a, a message of, of respecting your neighbor. That is not a message of saying that you're accepting of other beliefs. That's saying get your religion out of my face, which you implied at the very beginning of this conversation. No, all I did the not. Yes, you did. You talked about all the flyers that were being sent out. All the flyers that were being inundated by atheists who are sick and tired of people sending out these letters and flyers begging us to come to church and implying that there's something wrong with us if we don't show up. That's what you said at the beginning. I'm not. No, I never said that I have a problem with churches advertising themselves. What I said is that you can imagine how an atheist family would feel once they're being inundated with all these messages. Wouldn't they like to have some message of support? And that's what we're providing. We what we put on our billboard is a factual statement. I'm sure you can uh, respect that. It's a factual statement. We do have families and organizations, and they are great people. Well, and they're without religion. I, again, I will say this. I think that your PR department sucks, and you need to fire them, because your billboard is terrible, and it does not say that you're a good neighbor. It says, I'm picking the Holy Week to pick on Christians and religious people, and I'm saying, we're fine without your God, and quit inundating me with your flyers asking me to come to church. Well, I'm sorry if Christians are just so sensitive that they can't handle any other messages during Easter week. No, I, I'm saying um, if you really wanted to be a good neighbor, you would have had a billboard that says that we want to wish you a happy holiday week. Well, our message Holy is week. not for Christians. Our message is for Obviously. atheist families in the area. Obviously. And, 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 Obviously that's why, yes. and that's why you bought a billboard that reaches all the non-atheists instead of sending a direct mailer out to all the atheists that you have. 
I have a hard time buying that. <laughs> no, actually, hard... well, you don't it, buy a billboard to only reach your people. Put out a billboard because that draws more media attention to the situation, right. and that lets well, atheists in the, in the area know that we exist. So it's exactly. it's worked wonderfully for us. We would exactly. never do a mailer. It's worked. It's worked great, and I think you divided a city, and I think it makes people not think that great of the atheist neighbors that want to love me. I got, I'm out of time. Zach Moore, his the website, dfwcor.org. Quick break. Your phone calls coming up.